Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm rejoicing, and I'm glad in it. I want to thank you for joining us. If someone shared the channel with us, with you and you joined us today for the first time, welcome to the New Horizons Church Fresh Fire Prayer Call, our daily prayer devotional. And as we're praying this month, you're joining us during our prayer time about walking with God. And so I welcome you into our prayer time today. Each day we read a passage of scripture that helps to remind us about our walk with God. What a privilege it is to walk with the God of the universe, the creator of all creation. He wants to walk with you and to talk with you and to lead you and guide you today along the way. It's going to be such a great day when we put our hands in God's hands and are led by his plans. So today, again, is day number 19, and we're going to be reading from 2 John chapter 1 and verse 6. 2 John chapter 1 and verse 6 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment that is you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. Amen. Amen. Second John chapter one, verse six says, this is love that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. Amen. Today, as we go to God in prayer, as we are praying, let's pray about the fact that when we walk, we walk according to, to the commandments of God. Let's pray that we'll walk according to the commandments of God and that we'll recognize God's love as we follow his commandments, that we'll re recognize God's love as we follow his commandments. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you today. We bless and praise your holy name. Lord, from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same Lord in all places and at all times, your name is worthy to be praised. So Jesus, we lift you up and we exalt you. We praise you. We extol you, God. We, we magnify you, God. We, we glorify you, God. We honor you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God. Thank you. Thank you for this day that you have made. Thank you that for the, with the fruit of our lips, God, we can give you glory and praise. Thank you that we have the activity of our limbs, that our mouths work and our tongues move, that our ears hear and our eyes see and our hands grasp and our feet move, God. Thank you for the portion of health and strength that you've given to us today. And Lord, we thank you for you being Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, thank you for not leaving us comfortless after your death, your burial, <clears throat> excuse me, and your resurrection, God. You have now ascended and you're interceding for us at the right hand of the Father, but you have sent the Holy Spirit into this world to be with us and to be our comforter and our company keeper and our guide and our teacher and our leader, Lord. And so we thank you for fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to fill us with your spirit now. Lord, help us to obey your commandments, for you told us that if we love you, we'll keep your commandments. Lord, you told us to love you with all of your, all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. So we, we love you today, Lord. We, we ask you to forgive us when we've fallen in love with other things and the things of the world, Lord. We've fallen in love with material blessings, Lord. We've put things before you and prior thing, prioritized things above you, Lord God. We're godly sorry, and we repent, and we return back to our ways, God, of putting you first and making you a priority and giving our heart and mind over only to you, Lord. And Lord God, help us to, to follow your commandments today and to walk in them, to love our neighbors even as we love ourselves. Lord, help us to, to meet the needs of others by finding out what those needs are. And to the best of our ability along our pathway today, Lord, to stop and encourage somebody along the way. Lord, help us to stop and meet someone's need along the way. Lord, let us not be in such a hurry, Lord, that we, we miss out on what you are doing and what you want to do through us and with us and for us. Lord, help us to, to support someone else 
that is in need. Lord, help us to, to strengthen someone else who is weak. Lord, help us to support someone else who is who is frail and, and failing and falling and, and fumbling through life. Lord, even as you have helped us when we've been frail and falling and fumbling through life. Lord, help us to fulfill your commandment today and to walk in your commandments. And as we do, Lord God, we pray that we too would experience your love at a whole nother level. Lord, we would experience your presence at a whole nother level. That we would know, God, that you will supply every one of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, as we walk with you and as you talk with us, Lord, let us experience your love in ways we've never experienced it before. Help us to be reminded, Lord, that 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 you loved us and demonstrated your love to us and that while we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ, the righteous, died for us. Help us to know, Lord God, that you love us so much that you would withhold no good thing to us, that if we abide in you and your word abides in us, that we can ask what, what we will and it will be done for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that greater love has no man than this, than that, that he would lay down his life for his friends, Lord. Thank you that you lay down your life for us and you call us friend. So help us, Lord, along the way today in our times of loneliness to know that we're loved. In our times of feeling like there's nobody there, God, you remind us that you never leave us nor forsake us. Help us to experience your love in a real and a rich and a refreshing way today. And we'll be careful to give you praise to give you honor and to give you glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day 19, and we pray from 2 John chapter 1, verse 6. This is love, that we walk according to his commandments. And this is the commandment that you have heard from the beginning. You should walk in it. Amen. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.